Hi, welcome teachers. Today we're going to learn how to create a Facebook page. Now earlier we talked about why you would want a Facebook page instead of just friending your students. So just as a reminder, always create a page instead of friending. It protects you and helps your students keep their info private from you. So go ahead and click on pages to create your page and click more and then create a page. Select company, organization, or institution. Choose education and go ahead and name your page. I'm going to go ahead and name this one Fictional High School Econ and then click Agree to Facebook Pages and Terms and click Get Started. You'll see this screen which will give you the opportunity to upload a photo to represent your page or import a photo from a website. So let's go ahead and try to upload a photo. And once that's in there we'll go ahead and click Save Photo and then click Next. And now it wants me to provide some basic information about my class. You can go ahead and keep it pretty basic. Once you're done there, go ahead and click Save Info. And you can also just skip this and click Skip. Now we come to the walkthrough of your page. It's going to have you click Like. I, I recommend that you do click Like instead of Skip here. and once again, you will not be inviting your students to be your Facebook friends, so this portion is only relevant if you're inviting other instructors who are your Facebook friends. You're going to invite your email contacts. If your students are in your email contacts, you can invite them here. And then it's going to ask you if you want to post on your timeline. So let's take a look at the page. Now you have the option to upload a, a background image by clicking Add a Cover. And you can also edit the page by clicking up here at Edit Page and Manage Permissions. So first, in case you ever want to delete this page, go to Manage Permissions, scroll down to Permanently Delete your page. Here you can also block certain words from coming up on the page from posters. You can toggle the age restrictions. And then under basic information, you can choose to change the name of your page if you desire. I advise to keep this word short because it's what your students are going to use to find the page. More on that later. If you want, you can add in your contact information and also a little bit of information about your school. That's up to you. And you can also choose to manage this page through an iPhone app if you have one. Let's go ahead and go back to the basic page. So best practices for this are to use the status bar to upload photos, upload events such as homework due dates, and up to upload status of, with articles that you'd like to share with your students. And also ask them questions. Um, for instance, you might want to say, how does everybody feel about the test? You can get feedback from your students here as well to pull them on if they need some more help with certain subjects that you covered in, in the classroom. Here's a quick example of a reminder that you might want to post here on Facebook. So a reminder of homework. And you can also add poll options here to have the students answer some questions you might have for them. So what I did was I posted the homework reminder and then two options. I'm having trouble with demand and supply or I'm having, I have time to tutor. So I went ahead and clicked I have time to tutor. So that way any students who perhaps were over here in the supply and demand column, they could see that I'm available for tutoring. Now we're almost out of time, so you will be able to share this complete URL with your students. However, they're also going to be able to search in the search bar up here and find the page. So I went ahead and typed in FH and our, little, our page came up here, so it's pretty easy to find. Now we have 20 seconds left. Why do you want to use this? Because your students are on here. And even little reminders like the one you see are going to help. Also help them hook up with folks that can possibly provide them more guidance out of the classroom. And they can organize groups on here. And collaboration is one of the number one skills that employers are looking for right now. So thanks for looking at this. And please let me know if you have any questions. Take care.